viewers all over the world, this is the time to engage God and experience His power as you pray along with the man of God, Dr. Ian Lobo. Connect now. There are some marriages which are not functioning properly because either the husband or the wife has got their soul tie, or both of them. They've got soul ties. The, this is one of the most problematic things in relationships. Soul ties. Uh, even psychologists, they deal with this. Where when young youngsters join gangs, even when they are now free from the use of drugs and they are no longer addicted, but because they were getting a certain level of warmth, affection, care, you know, sense of worth, self-esteem from belonging to a gang. They find it difficult to resist associating with members of a particular gang. Maybe they were told that there are something, uh, even though maybe they might not be having a big position in society. They feel a certain sense of worth by belonging to a certain group, which is evil. Maybe you've got a soul tie to someone that you were once in a relationship with. So these are things that we need to break. And people who have fellowshiped in cults, cultic organizations, where there is um, excessive respect or reverence given to a human leader, instead of the reverencing of God or Christ, people who have belonged to, to such organizations, they also develop soul ties to their cult leaders because they will be gripped by what is called the cult of personality. So I want us to make fervent prayers, disconnecting ourselves from cults. Because, the, you know, in a cult, there are so many rituals that are that involve brainwashing. And these rituals are the ones that create the soul time. Some of these rituals are of a spiritual nature. Other rituals like conventions, they are just ordinary rituals, like when people meet for a church service. Some rituals are clearly demonic or they are entirely demonic. And because of those rituals that you underwent, you now have a soul tie to a certain spiritual leader who is not doing things in a Christian way, who is running their church organization like a cult. And you can't seem to break off from that. You, you feel lonely, you feel empty. You feel as if your life is just grinding to a halt or you are amounting to nothing because you are connected to a cult lead. Instead of being connected to Christ, you and I must be connected to Christ. Our deepest affection in our hearts must be our affection for Jesus Christ, not a human being. If your, if your allegiance and your commitment is strongest when it comes to your loyalty to a human being, then there is a big problem. Because the Bible says you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. So the moment you are committing those things to loving a human being, then we are in serious trouble. It means you have got a soul time either to an occultic group or you have got a soul tie to a cult leader, to a cultist or a cult leader. Usually people who create cults, they, they also involve themselves in the occult. Maybe you underwent some form of initiation. We need to break those covenants by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break any soul tie. I break any soul tie. 
to any person or any organization. To any person or to any organization. That is connected to darkness. That is connected to darkness. Any material of darkness has got no hold over my life. Any material of darkness has got no hold over my life. Because my soul belongs to Jesus. Because my soul belongs to Jesus. The food that I partook in the cult. The food that I partook in the cult. The emblems of worship that I partook in the cult. The emblems of worship that I partook in the cult. The ceremonies of the cult that I participated in. The ceremonies of the cult that I participated in. I have got no power over my life. I have got no power over my life. My life belongs to Jesus. My life belongs to Jesus. It doesn't belong to a human being. It doesn't even belong to me. It doesn't belong to a human being and it doesn't belong to me. My life belongs to Jesus. My life belongs to Jesus. I break every soul tie. I break, I break every, soul every soul tie. Created through social media. Created through social media. I break every soul tie created through sinful behavior. I break every soul tie created through sinful behavior. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of the Lord and Savior, Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, as a follow up to this point, you, you there might be, in some instances, some people they they engage in sexual activity with their boyfriends outside marriage. So if you are in that situation where you engaged in sexual activity with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, when you are not married to them. It creates a soul tie. So you need you need to break that soul tie. If you are still in a relationship with that brother or sister, you still need to break the soul tie because the soul tie will not take you anywhere. Yeah. What you need is it's a connection with Jesus, not a soul tie. Amen. Yeah. Because a, a, a relationship or a marriage can collapse even if the soul tie is there. I've dealt with many people who come and confide in me as a pastor to say, Pastor, right now I'm a married woman and my husband is doing everything that a husband would do and is even exceeding my expectations. But somehow, the deep affection that I had in my first relationship, it's as if the person that I was in a relationship with stole that affection. It's as, it's as if it took a certain fraction of my heart and went away with it. I'm not able to love my husband or I'm not able to love my wife as mm. I ought to, to do. So if you are in a situation like that, it, those are signs of, they are telltale signs mm. of a soul time. Other signs of a soul time this inordinate remembrance of a person that you were once in a relationship with, a person who has moved on with their lives, you, you find yourself having compulsive thoughts of remembering this person against your will because ordinarily, you and I must be able to, to control our minds. You must be able to control the train of your thoughts. For mm. me to be able to deliver the these prayer points that I'm sharing with you and to elaborate them the way I'm elaborating them is because I'm able to control my thoughts. Just imagine if I was thinking compulsively, I wouldn't be able to facilitate this session, this prayer session. Mm -hmm. So if you find yourself thinking compulsively about someone, you are in a soul tie. It doesn't mean that that person is a witch or a wizard. You just develop the soul tie to that person in your interaction with them. The soul tie may be caused by very deep fellowship or communication that you used to have 
maybe through WhatsApp or through through Facebook or through other means or through direct calling, uh, constantly hearing the voice of one person, it can cre create a soul tie. I'm not saying don't relate with other people, but I'm just sharing with you information so that you may know some signs and some causes of a soul tie as well, and how you can deal with a soul tie. So you don't deal with a soul tie by looking for someone and communicating with them. When you already know that the person has got no space for you in their lives and they've moved on with their lives. So uh, if a soul tie in your life was created by sexual activity, you may need to, to confess when we have finished this prayer. When we finish this prayer session in, in about 30 or so minutes, you may need to kneel and confess your situation before God. That God there is this thing which took place between I and so and so. This thing which took place after the points that were shared by your yourself and brother Ian in love. I, I've got the conviction that I'm in this kind of situation. May you free me so that as I begin to, to fulfill my purpose in 2024, I'm not held back by connections with people who have moved on with their lives, with a man or a woman who has moved on with his or her own life. So when you confess honestly and faithfully, sincerely and transparently to the Almighty God, he will release the anointing to free you. So it's not something that we can do specifically here. Because in some instances, you may need to mention names. You know, the, the sort of people that you always go to Facebook when your husband is not seeing or when your wife is not seeing and you open their profiles to check what they have posted online. You, you know yourself, especially those who are fairly young among us. So you know the situation that you are struggling with. So that situation is a soul tie. I'm not talking about people who open profiles of their boyfriends or their husbands or their girlfriends or their wives. I mean, if it is a boyfriend, you are in a relationship with that person. If it is a girlfriend, you are in a relationship with that person. If it is your wife or your husband, you are in a covenant relationship with your wife or your husband. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people who were in your life in the past, but who for one reason or another, you can't seem to shake them off from your memory, from your active memory or from your remembrance. I am. What I'm putting across is that that situation is abnormal it will be showing you that you are in a state of bondage. It's a sign that in that area of your life, you are in bondage and you need to go forward. And for you to go forward, you need to renounce and denounce that soul time. You need to serve yourself. You need to cut off yourself from that soul time so that you move on with your life, so that your soul is released, so that your affections are released and you become focused in your life to fulfill your life's mission and assignment. So here we're going to just confess generically, but some among us may need to confess on their own at the corner of their beds, in your prayer closet, in your bedroom, in your bathroom, in your living room, in your car. I don't know where you will need to go to go and confess that situation which has bound you for years, but you may need to deal with that situation so that you don't carry it over to 2025. You attack 2024 with clarity of mind and with a free soul, if I may put it that way. Let us pray. Say, O oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord. oh Lord Jesus. I release myself from all soul, soul ties. I release myself from all soul ties. In my life. In my life. Those that I am aware of now and those that I'm not aware of right now. Those that I am aware of now, those that I'm not aware of right 